Let's check in on some of the final scores across the league tonight. The Devils were hoping to play spoiler against the Hurricanes. Carolina powers their way to victory thanks to the OT winner. The Jets were in a dogfight on the road up against the Blues. Winnipeg turned it up a notch in their own end, putting on a brilliant lockdown defensive performance in the shutout victory. The Golden Knights faced off with the Lightning. Tampa Bay proves to be a little too much on this night. Welcome, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski to this EA Sports Showdown, and we are fired up. Let's drop the puck already. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Oh, I've been waiting for this all day, and we are now officially underway. Now a quick pass to Suzuki. And he takes a shot. Club save. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Columbus has the puck. Passes it over to Jacques. Takes the feed. Montreal's got the puck. They fight for it along the boards. Columbus takes possession along the wall. Taken along the wall by Suzuki. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Line A's picking up steam. Moves it quickly over to Shop. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Looks to set up at the point now. Comes up with the stop. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. The Canadians gain control of the puck. Quick feed to Suzuki. He scores! Oh! Well, this is the sign of things to come. Oh! Well, I hope so. I love forward feeds. This one is quick, and it's already on the board. 80s hockey, here we go. The Canadians are back at center right. about as perfectly as you can at home crowd behind you and an early lead and skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away and that's broken up tries to feed it over to Athanasiu moves the puck Montreal's got control of it now from their own end from the slot reshot big time stop Merzlikens makes a save on another scoring chance generated. Eventually, you think they gotta beat him one time or another. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Price covers it up, and he's just gonna let the play breathe for a second here. He's been really good, but hasn't had a lot to do in this period, so you keep your team in the lead by controlling the game. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, we got a one nothing game to this point. Shots knows when to stay at home and when to join the rush, making him a star defender for his club. Price is a star goalie in this league who plays confidently. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. Moves it to Domi. 
Line A, he's got control of the puck in the corner. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Trying to get out of the defensive end. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Montreal's regained possession of the puck. Nice job to escape the zone. Columbus takes possession along the wall. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. Move to the middle, and that one's blocked. Puck clear from the defensive end. The Blue Jackets have it behind the net. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Off target. Montreal's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And they get the puck out. Columbus takes hold of the puck. Atkinson's got it through center. Here's a shot, and that's blocked. And now it's grabbed by Paquette. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Hoffman's teammates kill off the penalty. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Lundin out. Gallagher's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Montreal's got the puck. Here he is in front. And he makes the stop with the glove to get a piece of it. In the final moments of this period, Montreal's got a 3-1 lead. Nice job tying up his opponent. Price is going to slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looked like the team had started to become unraveled. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Kakaniemi's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Feeds the puck over to Domi. Into the offensive end now. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. With possession along the wall. Close save! Quick reflexes! Gallagher's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Right Columbus now, will right go to now. work here in the offensive end. Oh. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Second period set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Sends a pass over. Scooped up along the wall by Suzuki. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Wierenski. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Takes that pass back at the point. Quick pass to Suzuki. The Canadians are on the attack. Suzuki's got it along the wing. He's got two. Another one would be pretty sweet. Taken along the wall by Drouin. There he is on the backhand. First Lickens off to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Montreal's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Jacques has the puck inside the defensive zone. And makes the routine save. Battle along the boards. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Denies him! 
Yeah, I hated when I missed chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Stopped by the goaltender. They work the puck into a scoring. Uh -huh. they a quarter of the way to 100, Razor. Yeah, maybe in three years, James. But 25 is a pretty good season, you know. I don't know if this is the hardest shot ever, but this is a quick release. Beats the goalie low glove side. When he uses his tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability to pass the puck firmly and accurately, good things happen, and we saw it on that play, guys. His team ends up with the goal, and he gets rewarded with an assist for that great setup. Here's a shot! Turns it aside with the glove. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Price can be a difference maker for this team because he's so good at coming up with a stop on cross-crease chances. And that's his post-to-post -post zone ability, guys. You need your goalie to be sharp against those grade-A scoring chances, and he's usually right there for him. Here's a shot denied by the puck stopper. First, Lickens elects to hang on and get a whistle here, Ray. Yeah, pretty soon, James, the players in front of him are running all over the place. They're trying to help, but they're not. That cover was important. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Columbus still needs one more goal in order to even things up. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And not much on that one. Line A is going to play it from the back of the cage. Scores! Max Domi! I think the goalie whips on this. He looks like he wants to get a stick on it. It's low on that side, but he doesn't make the stop. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Canadians win it. Puck picked up by Suter. And he'll retreat inside his own end. And he connects with the long bomb. Comes up with the stop. Merce Lickens gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. Kakaniemi's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Lots of fly, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Kakaniemi's won the faceoff. Deadlock's broken. That's a big goal. Dictate the pace of the game. Shox picks up the puck. Here's a short pass to Domi. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Turns it away. Yeah, he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. Montreal's looking to break out. The Canadians are in transition. Takes the cross ice pass. Penalty coming up. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Whistle blows, stopping the play. You worked so hard to get back in the game. Now you have a stall. A penalty will really hamper your momentum. The Canadians send their men advantage unit out once more. They've already been successful on the power play. No need to change anything. But you can't lose the urgency that made it work earlier in the game. Past the halfway mark of this period. Montreal's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And momentum. Well, that'll get a response. Paquette's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. There's the whistle stopping the play. You get a better sense of what happened down there. That oh. one stung, and he's slow to get himself back together here, James. I want to look at that again. Petrie's not going to be able to go here. He's headed down the tunnel with a little bit of hitch in his giddy-up. That's some kind of leg injury. We'll try to get you an update as soon as possible on his status for the rest of the game. Montreal's won the draw. Feeds the puck to Byron. Taken by Paquette. 
Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Moves it quickly over to Johansson. Handles the puck. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And they'll dump it in. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Canadians lead by a pair. It's 5-3. Columbus has it in their own end. Wierenski stick handling in his own zone. Columbus plays it against the boards. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Takes the pass. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here he is, wrist it on now. Yeah! Scores! They are on fire. Yeah, and it's all different sources too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. The Canadians are starting to make people lose track of just how wide this lead is now. Busiest guy in the rink is the guy changing the numbers on the clock. Man, they are awesome tonight. With possession along the wall. Goes right to the middle, and that's blocked. The Blue Jackets have it now. Picked up along the boards by Wierenski. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Quick feed to shot. Oh, how did that stay out? What a toe stop on the play. Stops him again. Great stop by the goaltender again. Back-to-back -back saves. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Well, that's taking it from his own end. Takes a hit on the play. From the left side, they gain the zone. Here's a shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Slides the puck to Gallagher. Shoot. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. Montreal's a skater short. Their player who was injured earlier will not be back tonight. Thanks very much for the update, Ray. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. 40 minutes into this one here. Razor, how do you see things? The Canadians have built themselves a really comfortable lead here into period three. They just have to nurse this home. Looks like a pretty interesting conversation going on on the bench there. Ray, are you hearing any of this? Yeah, I like it too. The coach is stopped by a couple of players, in particular to the youngster, and he wants him to make sure that he doesn't lose his energy, that he pushes all the way through to the end of the game. The centermen glide into position. The Blue Jackets win the draw. Feeds it up ahead. Snapper from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Ah, that's a good save there, James. It looks rather simple, but he gets the puck into the corner. No danger. Price is going to hang on for a face-off here. Getting himself a little bit of a breather. He's been a busy man in no there today, kidding. and it's been outstanding. The Canadians win the draw. Kulak's lugging the puck. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And now he moves it quickly to Atkinson. Columbus on the attack. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Gallagher's carrying it ahead. Puts it on net. Shut down by the blocker. Merzlikens makes a crisp save there. He knows he needs to be better than he's been for most of the night. He's had a bad save percentage, and his team trails big in the game. And a strong effort on that play. Oh. And that's picked off in front. Quick pass over to Gallagher. Picking up some steam at center ice. Gallagher's got the puck. Back to the point it goes. 
Off a stick. Denied by the goaltender. Sends one up to Domi. They've got numbers here. Snaps one on net. That's blocked. Receives the pass. Right. The Canadians gain control of it. Truex moving it ahead. Gain possession. Takes the feed. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Blue Jackets have it now. Things start to get a little physical out there. Quick pass to Stedman. Picked off. They go on the attack through center. From the spot. Oh, what a golden opportunity missed there. He misses by a large margin. He's right in the middle of the ice. Columbus with possession in their own zone. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. St. Louis is up next on the schedule. Sometimes you look at your schedule in advance, James, and you know all the teams and you've got the days in your head. Sometimes it just gets all confused and you have no idea who the next team is. He grabs the puck here at the point. And he slides it quickly to Edmondson. And that's wide of the net. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. Unable to reach that one. Puck sent over to Edmondson. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Drouin's had a big night offensively, creating chances, making players around him the most dangerous player. Hey, this should have been part of the scouting report a, a while ago. It's a little late right now as his assist total continues to climb. This is point night. Everybody, it seems, is on the board with either a goal or an assist. And since it... He scores! They've given themselves a little bit of a chance here. James just opened the door for a little light. Can they find another one to really make it close? Something to build on, right, Razor? You just gotta have something to believe in. This is it. I like how quickly he got this puck off his stick in the high slot. He moved around, finds some clean ice, and then beat the goaltender. Back downstairs to Ray Ferraro. What's caught your eye out there tonight? Well, it's the rookie. It's caught my eye really all game long how he's played. He's been energetic. He's been on the puck. He gets a tap here from the coach. And that tap is you've done the job well. Columbus is back at center ice. They're not rolling over and dying in this one. No, not yet. But they've got a long way to go. The coach is trying to tell them their skills high. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. 14 minutes, 54 seconds. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Turn that one aside. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the puck check. That's a big yeah. time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. And that's turned aside. Kulak's got the puck in his own zone. Montreal's got it along the wall. Manages to hang on. Oh, and it stays out. I think he made a close save on that one. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Montreal's won the face off. Though he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. And there's the final horn bringing this one officially to an end. Oh, they'll look at it and say, hey, we controlled play at certain points. We had a better face-off percentage, but just not enough. Ray, you know who loves a winner? Everybody, Everybody loves a winner. Salute the fans, salute the players. This is a good scene. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.
certainly one storyline to watch as the season unfolds. All right, let's go back to the phone lines. There's the beast. Are we going by the beast? Are we sticking to this now here in High River? Of course, you got to go with the beast. <laughs> What's on your mind tonight? Well, it's a disappointing loss, but, you know, our rookie's still looking good. He pops another one tonight. Well, you know what? And that's the thing. I mean, there's, there's been a consistency throughout his year where the good has pretty much been there on a consistent basis. Well, and he's bringing up the level of the team. We're starting to win, win some games despite tonight's loss, but he's making us better. He belongs. I think that's the one thing that really hits home for me. He belongs here in this league. All right, coming up in a matter of moments, we'll take a quick break and be joined by one of the great perspectives. All right, at this time, everyone, we'll catch you up on what went down and all the action in the league tonight. The Blue Jackets faced off against the Canadians. Montreal put on a show offensively in the win. Now, despite the loss, the rookie's still making an impact in this one, finding the back of the net. Hey, this wasn't the only stop in the National Hockey League tonight. Elsewhere around the league, the Kraken paired up with the Rangers. Seattle takes this one in a tightly contested affair. The Sharks were hoping to... Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. James Cebulski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you this NHL Eastern Conference Showdown. Two teams looking starved for a win, and we are set to go. The Panthers start with possession as we are now underway. And it's a quick pass to Hornquist. Florida's on the attack. Columbus gains a hold of it. Here they come up along the wing. Puck scooped up by Nudibara. Get it out of there. The Panthers will play it from the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Weger. Passes over to Huberto. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Wide of the net. Columbus gains a hold of possession. Down the right side and into the zone. On the attack along the boards. Wrist one. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Cuts into the paint. Sensational stop by Bobrovsky. Denied by the defender. Puck grab by Duclair. The Panthers take it across the line. That goes off a twig. Picked up along the wall by Matrano. What a stop as he puts up the fire! Well, we have a minute. Let's send it between the benches where Ray Ferraro is standing by with tonight's Razor's Edge. Both of these players are exceptional at what they do. I'm most interested in why I picked them for the Razor's Edge is to see who can play their style of game longer than the other. Intercepted. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Really like his positioning here as he's able to get the glove up there to make the save. But it doesn't have to be a spectacular, crazy save because he's in a good spot. Boom! Against the wall. There's a little anger in that hit. I mean, he had him closed off. He could have just eased him in, but he lowered the boom. Moves it quickly over to Shot. Turns it aside with the glove. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. The Panthers move the puck in the defensive zone. For Hagee's got it against the boards. Fires one on goal. Club save. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Huberto's tape-to-tape -tape zone ability is when he sends firm, accurate passes to keep the play going for his club. Shots knows when to stay at home and when to join the rush, making him a star defender for his club. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. 
Nice zone entry on the left side. Fantastic save! Merzlikens, and he scores! to be. Sends the pass over. Here's the chance. Oh, what a save in front. No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Can't get it to go. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Here in the late goings of the period, the Panthers have taken a 1-0 lead. Domi's won a big draw on their own end. Tries to get it over to Jacques. Slides the puck ahead to Atkinson. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Pass in front! Nice save from point-blank range. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Sends it quickly to Atkinson. Slides the puck over. Quick feed to Line A. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Sometimes you make a good shot, you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Columbus looks to move the puck from their own end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Nice pass. Picked up along the wall by Huberto. Moves it around along the half wall. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. I think my partner in crime, Ray Ferraro, is rested and refreshed. Along with the teams, we're ready to get things underway. Takes the feed. Takes the shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Columbus walking that line. And that's broken up. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Slides it up to Domi. The Panthers gain control of the puck. Moves the puck. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They pack another one on here. He's known for his take take zone ability, guys, which are those firm and accurate passes. And here, he picks up an assist because he helped set up that goal with such a great pass. Columbus is quick on the draw. Skates to the crease. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. And now he moves it to line A. He clearly doesn't like that. to drop we've got some four on four coming up that extra space on the ice is there for you to take advantage of be patient you've got the time make the right play Moves it to Huberto the Panthers take it across the blue line Columbus has it in their own zone sends a pass over trying to engage a little physicality here stops him with the glove Wierenski saw this penalty minute leaders list again. I wonder if he ever gets tired of running himself into trouble. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Panthers now lead by two. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Winberg. You'll need more than that to beat him. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Look out, here they come on the attack. 
Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Bobrovsky's had to do his part. He's had a good night in the goal, but at the other end, they've been really sharp around the net. Official signals as he is about to drop the puck. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Slides it back to the blue line. Okay. Okay. by Winberg. Pinned up along the boards. And it's kicked away. Florida's got a hold of the puck. across the ice. Goes right to the crease! And that one's broken up! Great block there! Here he is in close! The Blue Jackets scooping up along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Takes the pass. That's gloved by Bobrovsky. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Panthers are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Winford's won the faceoff. Florida's got it in their own zone. Moves it over to Huberto. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Back to the blue line. Oh, a clutch save! And now it's grabbed by Wierenski. Gains the zone. And serves up a little knock on the play. Here's a short pass to Jean. Just wide. Florida's got possession of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Line. And they can't connect. Bobrovsky's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Panthers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Receives the pass. Blocked in front. The Blue Jackets grab possession to the puck. Carries it across the line. Here he... Oh, off the post! The Blue Jackets have been pressing here, looking to get themselves into a tie game at the very least. That one won't help, but it's the post that stays out. Shots grabs the puck inside his own territory. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Huberto's got to feel good about his efforts tonight, guys. He's been able to generate offense just by using his zone ability on the play. Jenner's one possession. Takes the pass from the left wing. Move to the middle! Right in the slot, and they can't connect! And that one's broken up! Quick feed to Huberto! Get and that's there. a great read to force the turnover! Moves the puck into the attacking area! Wow! This shot up over the goaltender's glove. He's got his glove a little bit low and he's not able to get up and cover the top of the net. The Blue Jackets have narrowed the gap here late in this second period. Some momentum for them now. Now they want to close this period off well, get themselves into the third with a chance to get back into it. Pushes it across to Texier. Off the left wing and into center. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. Moves it to Jenner. Great save by Bobrovsky. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Jacques can score several different ways. He's among the league leaders in goals because he's so hard to get a handle on. In the final moments of this period, the Blue Jackets have answered back. Scores! Andreas Athanasiu! That's a terrific comeback for them. They've been playing from behind the entire game. They finally tie it up. Columbus has evened things up here in the late stages of the second with a big goal here. And this 
should give them some momentum going into the third period. An important goal they're able to score. Puck picked up in the open ice. Taken by Wierenski. Looking to make something happen at center. Florida's got the puck in their own end. Here they come. Fire it! Fire it! Let's it go! It. And he makes the save. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. to go, Ray Ferraro, James Slavalski bringing you all the action. Third period is now underway in this very tightly contested affair so far. Atkinson's moving the puck through his own zone. Here we go, on man rush. Slides the puck over to Atkinson. Sends one across, and they can't convert to the play. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Nice zone entry from the left. Quick pass to Winger. Takes the feed. Denies him in front. Sends the pass over. To the low slot. Big time stop. Rips it. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Yeah, he looked banged up earlier in the shift, James, and he's just trying to get himself to the bench off the edge to get some treatment. Florida's got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Oh, what a save by Merzlikens. Battling for it along the boards. The Blue Jackets gain possession along the wall. Slides the puck over. Oh, look at this chance. Denied by Bobrovsky. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Razor, I know you love goals. Looks like you're having as much fun as they are on the bench right now. Oh, I'd have more fun if I was sitting over there, James. I mean, everybody wants to get on the ice when the game is like this. The coach, though, is reminding his players, and the rookie in particular, that this isn't over yet. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Blue Jackets win the faceoff. Nice pass. And now it's over to Texier. Here's a shot. Makes the good stop. That was an important stop for the goalie. Not only does he make the save, but because he catches it, he kills the play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. Jenner's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. And that shot dies in traffic. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here's a chance. Going with a stop. First Lickens is on top of the puck, stopping the play. Looks like he's seen enough. The potential to start running around in your zone causes him to cover the puck up. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Winberg's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Jocks is able to play as effectively in the offensive end as he is in the defensive end. Not very many people can be that good at it on both ends of the ice. And if you are, you can end up on this list. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Pushes it across to Huberto. Here's a short pass to Winberg. Dishes it to Athanasiu. Carries it in. Moves it quickly over to Jock. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. 
He's only one goal away from his next real achievement. You know he'd like to get it here. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. He scores! Yeah. Pretty obvious, James. You play from in front, you've got the advantage of the game. That goal gives them the lead. The goalie's probably got to stop this, but I don't think he's set, James. That turnover didn't give him much time to get set in the net. The Blue Jackets, as they make their way back to the face-off circle, feeling a little bit better about themselves with a one-goal lead. Now you can see the finish line and how you get there is really going to determine what happens here. I say stay aggressive. Try and get another one. Return pass. Takes the feed. This is the most fun time of a hockey game. When every play is so important, the game is tight, Everything is on the line, and your decisions and execution is what's going to make the difference. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Special teams are always going to be a big part of any game. The penalty killers take center stage now with a one-goal lead. Columbus remains in front by a goal. A solid job by their penalty killers there. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Columbus doesn't really miss a beat when the second line... Oh, it goes right up the post! The Panthers are on the schedule next for these guys. We had a coach, James, that would ask us in a random meeting, who are our next three opponents? You'd be amazed how many guys would get two of the three wrong. What about you? Always knew. You always do. Yeah. Oh, I... Smartest guy in the room, right? No, just <laughs> paranoid. <laughs> a great sound when it pings off the post and then you don't hear anything except you see the goal like what a shot florida's late third period goal certainly opens up a lot of decision making for the coaches doesn't it it does but they must feel pretty good about their position because they just scored i suspect they've got a little bit of a leg up even though the game is tied moves the puck time winding down in this third period ray who's got our razor's edge tonight Jacques does not disappoint in our Razor's Edge matchup. It was going to be a close one, but he was more productive tonight, and he gets the nod. Here in the later stages of this period, it's all tied up. Bennett's won it. Tries to get it to Dennis Senko, and he's going after him here. Oh, look at this, 3 o'clock in the parking yeah. lot. Is it 3 o'clock already? Down they go. And down he goes, pretty much bringing an end to this one. Yeah, he was in control of this fight the entire way. <laughs> well, they were going at it pretty good there. The home side's going to get a lot of energy out of that decision. Well, this game has new life breathed into this building tonight after what we just saw moments ago. But we still got a game to play. Jenner's won it off the faceoff. And here's the pass to Afanasiu. Puts it on there. Makes the save. Great chance in front. And that one's broken up. Passes it to Texier. Sends it across the ice. From the right side, they gain the zone. And that's picked off in front. Less than 60 seconds to play in this tight one. Columbus looks to break out of their own end. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bobrovsky. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Columbus wins the draw. What a block as he lays out in front of it. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Slides the puck across to Achari. <laughs> S 
scooped up along the wall by Athanasiu. And he regains control of the puck. To his teammate! And that one's blocked! And a stick break set up. Punched it away in his own end. Comes up with a stop. Bobrovsky's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. The centers will glide into the dot. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. His reflexes on display tonight. Shoot! And there's the buzzer bringing regulation time to an end. Still tied up. We've got overtime in moments. The Panthers are going to have to adjust here. They will not be getting that injured player back. He's done for the night. Overtime action is underway. Absolutely love it. For the win! And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime! The Blue Jackets gain possession. But picked up by Line 8. But Brodsky's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. A critical draw here. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Florida's got it in their own zone. Oh, he'll feel that one. Two on one. Rocked on the play. Into the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Save made by the goalie. Denies him. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. There's the horn. Overtime fails to find us a winner, so we'll take it to a shootout next here on EA Sports. Well, nothing settled in the overtime frame, so we go to the shootout. It's hockey's equivalent of high noon. The shootout is set to go. Makes the save. Focused in on the puck, gets himself in the center of it, and makes an easy stop. Line A's up next. It's his time to shine. Scores! Didn't have much room. It looked like the goalie was in pretty good shape. But this one's in the back of the net. Hornquist's hoping to get his team right back into this shootout. He scores! Head up, takes a spot, and finish it off. Really nice job. Well, that's a really good shot. The goalie's down, and the puck goes up over top of him on the backhand. Oh, the fourth skater in the shootout is sent to go. We are still tied, but for how much longer? His best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. If he can advantage goalie on that. Yeah, there's no dice. I, I got a good view of it, and there's just nowhere to shoot the puck. Forsling's the first skater up as we play a little bonus round here. Absolutely nothing doing on that. Sometimes you make a move, sometimes you choose to shoot, and there's just nothing there. Pete's got a chance to be the hero if he can come up with a clutch goal. Scores! And there's the point drop in this one. Yeah, that's going to feel great for him. He finishes it off. Is over. The Blue Jackets needed a shootout, but they skate away with the win. It always feels like a little bit of a coin flip once you get past regulation time, but they come up with the win. He was able to wedge that up high and get it into the net on the backhand. And there's a salute to the fans after another victory here in the house. Yeah, look at the way the energy percolates through the building. You got the music going, the fans are saluting the players and vice versa. It's a cool vibe. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Savalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.
Let's take a look at the rest of the action on the ice tonight in the National Hockey League. The Cats took to the ice to lock up with the Blue Jackets. Columbus performs well in the shootout, and they get the two points. And did you see the kid shine so brightly when he finds the back of the net? Here's how it sounded. Deep inside the offensive zone, trying to make something happen. It's a shot start! Oh, the rookie making some magic in the offensive end. Time to look at what was happening elsewhere in the NHL schedule. The Canucks were hoping to come up with two points on the road against the Blackhawks. Chicago takes this one in the shootout and the extra point to go with it. The Oilers were on the road to take on the Senators. Edmonton pulls one out in a nail biter. Don't even think about touching that dial or touching that button. We've got plenty more on the ice and that's next. Hey, no shortage of action and drama on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at what happened elsewhere. The Kings were looking to grab points on the road against the Coyotes. Arizona takes this one in a tightly contested affair and the bragging rights to go with it. The Flyers had an on-ice collision with the Red Wings. Detroit pulled this one out thanks to coming up big in the shootout. The Jets were on the road to take on the Stars. Dallas took this one in overtime on the heels of a great extra frame goal. 